Seven. Let's get to our Chipotle real difference maker, Domas. You see what they're missing here. Western Conference Player of the Week last week averaged a triple double, and obviously the Kings miss him as Wing and Gabriel airmails a corner three. Kings on a mini run. And that has been because of the assistance of Russell Westbrook, who yeah. after that timeout, Darvin Ham decided to spend a little time with him on the bench. But it's gotten the Kings into a bit of a rhythm here, and they've been able to cut into this lead. It's now a four-point game after the Lakers led by as much as 14. Yes, yeah, 7-0 Sacramento run as De'Aaron Fox auditioning for an all-star bid has 16 here in the game as Trey Lyles, trying to deny, commits the foul. And if, if this doesn't kind of give you a little bit of proof, you just look at how much more aggressive De'Aaron has had to be offensively in the beginning of this game. Normally we see him kind of work his way in because he's playing alongside Domas and he focuses on the defensive end a little bit more. But this game is so reminiscent of last year in the beginning of the season where he just had to yeah, do yeah. so much. Kings down by four. Lyles! They can't find a mark from three, just three of 14. We're talking about a Sacramento team that shoots close to 37% as LeBron gets away with bully ball. I think Trey Lyles was inside the restricted area, yeah. but he got hit by a Mack truck coming through there. And LeBron, you know, we talk about age, 38 years old, but he has worked so hard on his body and yes his feet are on that restricted circle right there and that's what has enabled him to play this long but then you look at his natural gifts that he's had since he came in day one which is the size the yes. strength the quickness we, we haven't seen that it's, before it's, in the NBA. Still, it's still there yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, there, there has not been a player like lebron as he knocks down the first I think, He's listed at 6'9", yeah, 250. I, I think when you look at someone that can dominate purely off of just the physicality, his body type, he's built like a football player, right. you know? LeBron up to 17, back to a six-point game. Fox and Barnes, HB, nice ball reversal. Late whistle. That's been a point of emphasis here, you know, the, the traveling call yeah. as of late. But let's keep an eye on that, what the Kings just did. I like that. That's a different look than yeah. we normally see. That's kind of three guys low along the baseline, two in the corner, one on the low block, and then you've got kind of a two-man game with a spread open floor. Kings now with seven turnovers, ten Lakers points off those turnovers as LeBron... And that's been the difference in this game, yeah. Kyle, is the Kings' turnovers. Guarded by Rashawn. He's going for the mid-range jumper in and out. LeBron now 6-10 from the field. Here's Herter. Hard push. Barnes gets caught up in the air. Herter deep, straightaway three. Got it. Red Velvet has arrived. Are just having to work so much harder for their buckets, and they're doing a great job of rallying and figuring out how they can become productive offensively. But they're working harder than they normally have to. Schroeder trying to answer Holmes, great box out. And we got a foul on Wiggins Gabriel, that'll be his first. Harrison Barnes taking it along the baseline, getting caught in the air, but finds an open Kevin Herter who's able to knock down the high triple. We're seeing a little bit different action offensively, and you got to give credit to the coaching staff for kind of adjusting right now and trying to figure out different ways to be effective in the half court without DeMontis Sabonis. Harrison Barnes, big boy move, going right at Dennis Schroeder. 